We mentioned at the top of our newscast the weather impact day, not expecting severe weather, not flooding rain, but just rain at the time where we will be mainly outside with the trick or treaters block parties going on tomorrow evening through the night. And I'm still saying scattered showers possible, certainly not a guarantee, and it's still looking like not everyone will see the rainfall. But what I would have if we're heading out handy umbrella ready to go and maybe pack a rain jacket if you need to put it over the kids or your costume just in case. Here's what we're looking at with again what tends to be our more aggressive uh, computer model the her. We have a few spotty showers in the morning becoming a little bit more widespread later into the afternoon and into the evening. But even that is not just all over the place. So there will be areas that we see no rainfall. This model though tends to be a little bit more aggressive. And so with that being said, it's going on the higher side with maybe 60% rain coverage. I'll show you another model in a moment, which doesn't show nearly as much. What rain we have on radar right now, very, very isolated, mainly down around Dissolman, south of Luling, maybe at times kind of clear clipping right around the 310 area and then up toward Lutcher and parts of the uh, river parishes. So that's really the only rain that we have had thus far today, but we have that persistent southeasterly wind. So what is going to cause us to have more rain tomorrow? It is an approaching front. Now the front is not going to move through, but with that added instability and kind of lift in the atmosphere, that's why I'm going with about a 40%. I'm basically splitting the difference with a lot of our high resolution models, some more aggressive than others. After that, rain chance is pretty low, but with that persistent southeasterly wind taking us into next week. I'm keeping an isolated rain chance or a spotty rain chance around. We've had a bit of a breeze as well with those winds sustained at about uh, 10 to 18 miles an hour and then gusting up at times over 20 miles an hour. We'll still be kind of breezy during the day tomorrow. Looking up river, uh, you see what the, the skies are like with those isolated showers. They're kind of a welcome sight as we've been very dry going back to October 4th. Just unfortunately, we'll have the better chance of rain on Halloween. 82 degrees right now. Humidity is much higher with dew points in the lower 70s and today's high yet again, only a degree off of the record topping out at 86 degrees in the 80s outside right now. That's another guarantee for tomorrow. Temperatures at trick or treat time, upper 70s and lower 80s. It's going to be mild to warm and it is still going to be on the humid side. Dew points upper 60s, but most of us have been in the lower 70s. Now there was some promise in earlier model runs. I'm going back to last week that maybe this upper troughing and models had forecasted it pretty well would maybe push the front on through. But where is this upper troughing going straight up to the northeast? So we're not going to get any kind of a push from that one to bring the front through. It'll get close, helping to trigger more rain, but not going to push through. So let's go into the end of the week and the start of next week. Here comes another deep trough. Is that going to help us? No, that one too lifts out. So we stay warm under this upper ridge. What the euro is indicating is that toward the middle to end of next week, we're going to get this little short wave trough to move on through, and this would be enough to maybe bring in more of a fall feel. Not that crisp fall air, but maybe knock high temperatures into the 70s and mornings back into the 50s. So this will be our best next shot at any kind of fall like weather, and that doesn't come until the end of next week. The GFS, though, is not in agreement. Most of the ensembles on the Euro are indicating that. We'll see if the GFS starts to pick up on that. Here's the front itself some severe weather breaking out across Oklahoma. For us, though, with that drawn out moisture from the Gulf, that's what's helping to feed some of these showers. And with the added instability of that approaching front during the day on Halloween, we are anticipating more showers. Now this model again, notice not nearly as much coverage, so kind of splitting the difference with our rain chances for tomorrow, going about a 40% shot and then much dry. Good Lord. <sighs> I think I'm going into AFib. Don't do that. <laughs> first, I thought, first I thought the producer was screaming in my ear like I did something wrong. And I thought, Ian, your voice, kind of a high pitch. Our weekend rain chance is low. Okay. It's coming back down now. What's my smartwatch saying? We fall back one hour. We stay warm and humid right through election day.